guys. In the world of anime, anything can be done. From things that make sense to things that make no sense. Maybe for those of you who have a weird fetish, the word furry is familiar. For itself as a term for humans who have a body or appearance like an animal. Even though they can be called human, furries can use their animal instincts like the animal behavior and habits in nature. Welcome back to this channel. And today, I'll give you the list of the most beautiful furry girl characters in the anime. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest video. So let's get started. Number 10 is Special Week from Uma Musume Pride Derby. Special Week is the main protagonist in the Uma Musume series. She comes from a humble village and lives in Hokkaido with her adoptive mother. Entering Trashin Academy, she's getting closer to her goal of life which is becoming the best horse girl in Japan. She is an affectionate and adorable girl with her pop hairstyle and wet bangs. Apart from being known as a horse girl, Special Weeks is a girl who is very cheerful and has positive thoughts. Even though sometimes she feels frustrated in making her dream come true, she tries her best and never gives up. Number 9 is Senko-san from Sewaya Kikitsune no Senko-san. Senko is a dragonist character in the Zanme. Senko is a demigod fox girl who comes from Kitsune Heaven. Even though she has a lolly body, she is actually a girl who is more than 800 years old. Senko is a Kitsune girl with luminous orange fur with a white tail tip and brown fox ears. The usual outfit she wears is a red and white Mika kimono with a beige brown. Instead of her cute appearance, Senko is more mature and often spoke like an old woman. Number 8 is Hitomi Ozaki from The Killing Bites. Hitomi is one of the protagonist characters in the Zanime series. Having white hair, brown eyes, not to mention her athletic and attractive body, she usually wears a high school uniform with white color shirt with the buttons and a red ribbon. Maybe this is because of her influential animal instincts. Hitomi is a girl with a fierce personality that makes her somewhat unfriendly towards other people. Even with the slightest provocation, she could fight anyone. Since she has a rattle chin, Hitomi never backs down from a fight, no matter how severe the fight is. It makes her a terrifying and hot-blooded fighter with an often aggressive nature to get blazer from the combat. Number 7 is Raftalia from Tate no Yusha no Noriagari. At the beginning of her appearance, Raftalia was a slave. Even though she is a slave, she has never been treated badly, even she has a strong relationship with her master. Raftalia is a mixed dress of raccoon and tanuki. It can be seen from her fluffy ears and a bushy tail. After doing several trips as a story goes on, she becomes an adult girl who is very beautiful. She was originally a girl who was shy because of her status as a slave. Number 6 is Mia from The Daily Life with a Monster. Mia is a Lemia girl, a mixture of human race and snake. She has long red hair and yellow eyes like a snake. Her ears are long and pointed like the elf rates, as well as her fangs and her tongue that seems like a snake. It's said that her tail has reached 8 meters in length. Apart from the snake's lower body, Mia's upper body is human-shaped. She is one of the characters that's introduced as a racial exchange student. Apart from being perverted, she can also be arrogant and rude. Even so, she can sometimes turn into a gentle and caring girl. Number 5 is Melona from the Queen's Blood Ruro no Sanshi. Melona is one of the four servants of the Swamp Switch and she becomes the strongest servant among the others. She used to change her body shape freely and instantly. This is necessary for her mission to obtain information in its destinations. She has a soft, moist and rocky body. Despite being an amorphous creature, the most informed is a woman blushed with a pink blush on her skin. She has long pink hair with a pair of bunny ears. She is a type of girl who is attractive and alluring. Also, Melon often humiliates her opponents and doesn't hesitate to kill them if the timing is right. 
Despite her evil nature, she basically doesn't like being called monsters and she will easily go mad when being summoned like that. Number 4 is Aries from Asobi ni Ikuyu. Aries is a young girl from the Kashin tribe who roams around the world. As a girl, she has a tall and attractive body. Aries as a type of person who can easily make friends with many people, as well as the existing cats. She is also known as a competent female warrior that uses various strategies and technologies that do not exist on Earth. Number 3 is Surfall from the anime Kimono Friends. Surfall is a cat race from an unknown generation. She played the main role in this anime. Surfall lived a peaceful life in Saba area of Chapri Park until she met Kaban after the third eruption. Number 2 is Himari Noihara from the anime Omamori Himari. Himari is a cat girl or what's it called Bakaneku. She is a cat demon who first protects the main protagonist in this anime series. Himari appeared as a young Japanese girl in general. She has a curved body with a long black hair that reaches her hips. Himari proved to be a kind and loyal person to her master, even almost to everyone. But when someone hurts the people she loves, Himari will kill them without hesitation. She also really likes to tease her master and even Himari has strong feeling for him. Number 1 is Kurosegi from Mondaiji. Kurosegi is a moon rabbit and one of the nobles of Little Garden. She is an attractive young woman with long blue hair and red eyes, not to mention the bunny ears that are the hallmark of Kurosagi. She is a sincere and loyal type, although she tries her best to support her friends. Kurosagi can be for passion and calm even in serious and tough situations, but when she is ridiculed or humiliated, she would be very easily embarrassed and feel confused. Well, those are the list of the most beautiful furry girls in the anime. Is there any of your favorite furry girl on the list? If there is, write in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys on the next video. Bye!